Good morning, students. <clears throat> I hope you've had the chance to get out today. It's sunshiny, it's getting hot out there. Before we read our morning message, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my students, and I'm wearing a special t-shirt um, that has a connection for that student and her family. And I'm just wishing her the best happy birthday, and I'm wishing you all uh, happy birthdays and celebrations if you have to enjoy them when we are all a little stuck at home. I hope you and your families can find fun ways to celebrate. Let's take a look at our morning message. June 3rd, 2020. Dear students, today we will read a workbook about Virginia symbols. Mm, let me just reread that for a second. Today we will read a workbook. Oh, there's a compound word. Workbook. Workbook, right? A workbook about Virginia symbols. Then I'll show you how to complete it. Mrs. Kilmer, Ooh, here's a contraction, right? I'll, I will, then I'll show you how to complete it. Mrs. Kilmer. So usually when we study Virginia symbols, at some point I give students this little booklet and we read it together and we fill it out. But in order to make it easier uh, to send home to parents digitally and for you guys to print it out at home, I made a slightly different version that's really big. And it'll also be easier for you to see it as we read it now today. So, this is called All About Virginia Symbols. And when you get this at home, you go ahead and write your name on it and you can take a close look if you'd like at this uh, outline of the state of Virginia, a little map of Virginia. Here's Richmond, the state capital that we learned about yesterday, and some other big cities just have little circles. And on the front is a seal, but it's kind of hard to see it. Okay, so if I sneak peek this page, I can see that it has a map of the whole United States. And then it has an arrow showing how it's zooming in on the state of Virginia. It says, there are 50 states in the United States of America. Virginia is one of those states. And you'll have this at home in your booklet. I'm hoping that folks can print it out. I'll send it to Shutterfly. Oh, I see a cardinal and a dogwood flower and the seal. There are many symbols that stand for the state of Virginia. A symbol is a picture or item that stands for something else. Wow, we sure know that. We've been learning about symbols all year long and we really know what that means, right? When something's a symbol. And with these pages, um, you can just enjoy coloring them, yeah? You can read, reread, and color them. The Virginia flag is one symbol of Virginia. It is a deep blue color. It contains the motto, thus always to tyrants. This has been the Virginia flag since 1776. And again, you can enjoy coloring this. Maybe you can remember from our other video how the flag, or you already know maybe, or you can look it up, how the flag is dark blue, and you can color in the map, uh, the flag other ways that you would like. This is the dogwood flower. It is a symbol of Virginia. It grows on the dogwood tree. The dogwood tree is a small tree that blooms in early spring. The flowers are either pink or white. So you can just enjoy coloring that in. This is the, remember the name of this bird? Cardinal. It is also a symbol of Virginia. The males are bright red and the females are brownish. Cardinals do not migrate like other birds. And like I said, I will be learning a little bit more about cardinals in the days to come. Oops. Ah. Oh, here's a special page. If I sneak peek, I can see there's a picture, looks like a queen. And there's a caption. Let's go ahead and read the text. Virginia was named after Queen Elizabeth I of England. It was named Virginia shortly after Jamestown was founded. At that time, all the land along the Atlantic Ocean that was not owned by the French or Spanish was called Virginia. And the caption, right, remember caption? Queen Elizabeth never had a husband. The name Virginia honored her. So I think you can have real fun coloring in all the details on her. That could be a fun thing to do. And here's another symbol. 
the Virginia State Capitol. The State Capitol building is in Virginia's capital city, Richmond. Thomas Jefferson designed it to look like an ancient Roman temple. Remember we talked about that? Uh, oops, it, hold on, I'm gonna reread. Thomas Jefferson designed it to look like an ancient Roman temple that he had admired in France. It was completed in 1792. The side wings, that means the extra bits on the side, were added in the early 1900s. So this is an example where you can practice your highlighting skills. You could read this a couple of times and get out your highlighter and highlight the important, the important words. Remember, you don't want to highlight little snap words, the and, just the important words that help you remember the new facts. And then you can fill in the, the sentences down here. The state capitol building is in mm. It was designed by mm. It looks like an mm. It was completed in mm. Okay, so there you can use your highlighting skills on that page. Ooh, here's some information about cardinals, some more details. The male is a bright red bird with a pointed crest on the top of his head. The female is mostly brown in color with some red on her head, wings, and tail. Both have small black masks on their face. I've always thought that was so cool how they describe the, the black over the eyes of the cardinal as a mask. So here's a diagram, right? This is like a nonfiction book in a way, a little nonfiction booklet. And here we have a diagram with labels and arrows, crest, wing, tail, feathers, feet, and beak. And then you can go ahead and fill in the diagram yourself, right? And you can also color it, of course. Oh, here's some more facts about cardinals. And I want you to pay close attention to these facts because later we're going to compare cardinals and bald eagles, right? You know how I love to make connections and then compare things? So after we spend a little more time learning about cardinals, we're going to go back and remember what we learned about eagles and then compare them. So it says, cardinal birds are songbirds. Cardinal birds eat seeds, grains, and fruits. Cardinal birds have a long tail and a pointed crest. Okay, so they're songbirds. That's about kind of what they, that they make sounds like that. It says what they eat. It says what they look like. They have a long tail and pointed crest. Then up here, cardinal birds live in gardens, woods, and residential areas. Residential, that means like where people live, around where people live. Cardinal birds can live up to 15 years. Okay, and then after you read these facts, you can go ahead and fill out down here the information from here. Look, isn't that kind of cute? Those are two wings that they've written the information in. And then you can write that, you can record that information down there. Okay. On the almost last page, there's a big seal of Virginia. Virginia, six Semper Tyrannus. This will be really fun to color in because it's lots more detail. The citizens of Virginia are proud of their state seal. It shows they will fight to be free. Okay, and then the last thing for you to do is the last page, it has Virginia symbols and US symbols. And then there's this other last page that has some little squares with different symbols. So this is a quarter with an eagle. This is a US flag. This is the White House, Dogwood, Cardinal, Liberty Bell, Statue of Liberty, there's another eagle, and there's the um, the uh, Capitol building, somebody's Capitol building. I hope you remember what. So cut those out, and then you can go ahead and sort them. Oops, got to turn back the other way. You can sort them on this. Which are the Virginia symbols? Which are the U.S. symbols? Okay. So anyway, so as I mentioned, we read that workbook, and I showed you how to complete it. Okay. And also, there's some fun, um, another maybe three or four, two or three, four other little short videos about the Virginia flag, about Virginia symbols, about places around Virginia. And I'll go ahead and put those links below this video as well as send them out in the Shutterfly email that will have this document for your children to fill out. Okay? And I'll see you this afternoon for our afternoon story.